Hey everyone, it's Angela from avpan.com and about three months ago I uploaded a video about this Sanyo Colorspace UDMA2. Um, so like I said, it's been about three months and I had some time to play around with it and I just wanted to give you my thoughts about it. There's some things that I really like about it and there's some things that I don't like about it. So the first thing that I really like about it is how easy it is to, um, to upload some pictures onto your hard drive. So um, I took this puppy to Iceland, San Diego, Hawaii, and it was just so easy. And it reads raw images. So I have my compact flash here, and all you do is just put it in, hit import right here on the first option, and then that's it. It's searching for it, and then I think you just have to confirm its import, and yep, you just have to confirm the import, and then that's it. And I like how when I'm on a trip, I can just go to my photos and then browse the images that I've already taken, you know, on the go. That is really cool. Here are some pictures that I took while I was in Iceland. You see I'm shooting raw and you can scroll through. So I have HDR, so, you know, there's multiple versions of the same image. But it's pretty easy and so so cool to see be able to see your pictures while you're traveling what i don't like about it is that it's kind of hard to name your folders you have to name them in advance and then import them into that folder um it's just you know it's not impossible it's just a little tricky and a little time consuming it's kind of tricky when you're going to somewhere like iceland and there's like these super long you know names for the places that you're going and so that's a little bit difficult. Um, the second thing that I don't like about this hard drive is when you're ready to upload these pictures onto your onto your computer. When you're ready to import your pictures into your computer, there's two ways to do it. You can either plug it in with a USB, and that's a little bit difficult because it seems like every time I try to plug this into my computer, it automatically switches to the language Chinese. And so I've memorized where the setting is to change the language because I can't read Chinese. So I, every time I plug it into my computer, I have to switch the language from Chinese to English, which is a little bit annoying. And then you have to, this is its own little like server, I guess. I'm not sure what it's called, but it has its own IP address. So you have to use your computer to find the IP address to find this. And every time I try to do that, it can't find it. So that's really annoying. The other way to import your pictures is by Wi-Fi. And in the unboxing video, you saw this little Wi-Fi thing. So it connects to this side and you just go like this and then it has its own little Wi-Fi connecting thing that it connects to your computer and even this it's a lot simpler but it takes so long when I had to import like hundreds of pictures from my trip I had to you know just do it overnight because there was no way I could have just uploaded them in the middle of the day when I was trying to use the internet and trying to do other things it's just so slow so that's one thing that I don't like about it. Another thing that I don't like about it is that it doesn't take GoPro videos. You know, um, I like taking GoPro videos. I think they're awesome video cameras. And then the, the um, hard drive just doesn't read them. So all in all, I like it. It's really reliable. It's easy to use. The buttons are big. The colors is really nice um, to be able to see your pictures. You so that's just kind of my experience with it from now. It's just three months in and I will use it and I will take it on all of my trips just because I know I can rely on it. It's so easy to import videos and pictures from my 5D Mark II even in raw files. So I will take it along with me but I just wanted to give you my quick little review on the Colorspace UDMA. Thanks everyone. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this or if you have any suggestions of things that you would like to see or know about any questions about anything, just let me know. Bye. So I have my, so I have my, and I don't want to import it because I've already imported this 
compact flash. I was just showing it to you as an example. So I don't want to just pull it out. I'm just going to pull it out. 